Good morning. Today is June 12th and everything is looking so wonderful. Even though things look similar in the garden, you really have to take time to look at the different changes. So much is happening. And if you are not observant, then you're not going to see it. Each day, a brand new blessing is before us. And the question is, are you going to look for it? That's what I like about the garden. Because it requires that you um, pay attention. Now in this back bed, I've noticed that my tomatoes are starting to flower. My lemon tree are getting some fresh leaves. Now this bed is just having fun as far as I'm concerned. Look at that grass, that variegated grass. It's like a wave starting from this end and just waving through this bed. It's a spreader. It can be very much a thug. <laughs> but I just like it because of the variation, the variegation. <laughs> and in the middle, we can see purple. That's the spiderwort. See that? That's spiderwort. And then that tall kind of plant right there that has yellow leaves. And they are all kind of thuggish in this bed. So they're going to have to figure out their way. I planted potatoes here and they are looking so good and healthy. I'm going to have to heal them up. This is my angel tree cuttings and they have been leafing out. I think they like this corner. And here, look at this. This is my Azalea Dorothy Hayden. And I'm getting more blooms. I love these flowers. I could imagine it being tall, because it will grow. And having those white flowers like that, that is so pretty. I think this one just opened. Look how fresh it is. I'm going to have to give it some holly tone though so that it will grow strong and healthy. I love it here amongst the variegated plants. Looks really nice. This little corner. At this time in the garden, everything is more um, subdued. The colors are more uh, white and green. It's almost like a white garden. I like the fact that it's full and lush 
and running over. Anything that I don't like, I just pull it up. Now these are my lilies. I don't know what happened to this. This one is suffering, but the rest are doing fine. Here's the other Dorothy Hayden looking real good. It is early in the morning, around six o'clock, and the neighborhood is very quiet and peaceful right now. I can see a lot of things coming in to bloom, or about to want to bloom, and things coming out, for example, my iris it's pretty much done and I'll let that stay there for now and then I will remove it but the day lilies are setting up getting ready that's my Stella d'Or day lilies and my little plantings are doing very well here. Look at how much the eggplant has grown and also the cosmos, the cleome. This is my butternut squash getting ready to trail all around as well as the uh, cucumber. Soon these pansies are going to be covered. I think they will appreciate the shade. My bachelor buttons are just about finished. Over here I planted these seeds of zinnias. I believe they're the giants and they're coming up now. You know, with seeding things in the garden, I get so impatient, um, especially during the cold months, and I start to do it too early, and um, so I lose my seeds, so I need to be more patient, or I need to use my um, little plastic greenhouse. <laughs> But anyway, these are some zinnia seeds, uh, plantings, that I put in the ground and they're already starting to bud. I really like the cosmos, the leaves. It almost looks like a bouquet here. Now you may be wondering, what is this plant? This is bee balm. It's going to be beautiful. It is the roses, especially this knockout rose bush, which has grown into such a beautiful display. It is definitely its time right now. I wanted you to get a better look at the peace rose so I came out now while it's shaded and um, it's kind of cloudy so that you can actually get to see what it looks like.
So here is the climbing rose again. It still has a lot of more blooms to go. Fox glove. And back there in that corner. That's another climbing rose. And as you can see, it's starting to set bud. Now this rose bush, this climber, is so beautiful. There's still so many new um, buds to that need to open. It's gonna look like this one. So much more to see in Catherine's garden. So come on back, make sure that you subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye!